I'm not done. I said in my last video I was done today, but I'm not. I was so disappointed in my peanut butter fudge not being perfect. Flavor's good, texture's a little dry. So, I'm going to make it again. Only this time, instead of powdered sugar, I'm going to use mayo. And now, mayo. No wonder I'm having trouble in the kitchen. I can't even think. Marshmallow. I don't think mayo would work. In my pan, I have one stick of butter. Butter, butter, butter. Always butter. Butter is always better. Unless you're making my recipe for Sholan's garlic toast. Then you want to make, uh, use margarine. Only margarine. Not, not a margarine spread or a vegetable oil spread. You have to use real uh, margarine. That's the only thing I use margarine for. I'm tired of them telling us it's good for us one year and bad for us the next year. And I am full on butter. So here we go. As that gets melted, uh, it calls for a half a cup of half and half. But just like in the video previously, this is peanut butter fudge 2.0. It had half a cup of half and half, like I said, but I don't have half and half. So I use one half cup water to, or one quarter cup water to a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. And that's how I make it. Get that melted, melted, melted. trying to look through my okay brown sugar and butter mixture will begin to boil and that's what I've got to do is I've got to get my brown sugar in there if I find my cup there it is tell you what <laughs> measuring cups spoons everything's washed again and again or used again and again in this kitchen I must say okay so here is take that off the heat for a second I didn't have this pre-measured Sure, I don't have a full cup left in here, but we're gonna see. Daisy, Rosie, get out of here. They so want me to drop something. And Daisy, being the scrapper she is, she wants Rosie out of here so she doesn't get any of the falling stuff before she can get it. Okay. Daisy, get now. We need a little bit more brown sugar. Okay, two cups packed brown sugar. Okay. Now we'll get this back over here. get this mixed up. Well, oh, I'm supposed to have my half and half in there too, I think. Yep, my half and half. Which, like I said before, is half heavy whipping cream, half water for me. If you have half and half in your house, that's what you should use. But since I don't, I'm going to make up something else. Make something else work. can move this up to medium. Had it on low while everything was melting. 
and I'm going to bring this up to a full boil. Boil it for two minutes, then I'll be back and we'll add the uh, peanut butter, the vanilla, and then the marshmallows. And we'll see if this doesn't work out better than powdered sugar. One real cracked about using the powdered sugar anyway. So, should have thought of this before. By golly, I'm going to make this work, people. Just got to do it. Okay. Thanks for joining me again in what will hopefully be a much better version of my peanut butter fudge. If not, if it doesn't turn out, you'll never know I made this video. Because <laughs> I won't post it. But I think it's going to turn out better than the powdered sugar one did. It can't be any drier. I think the marshmallows will, will help a lot in keeping it from getting dry. So we're going to see here in a minute. Okay, I'll bring you back as soon as we're ready to add more ingredients. Hang in there. Okay, our two minutes is up. Shut off my heat. going to stir in my one cup of peanut butter. Put in a teaspoon, which is one cap of this size of vanilla, and this size is one fluid ounce, and the blue cap is one teaspoon. So you don't have to get out your measuring spoons for that. We're going to stir, stir, stir the peanut butter and vanilla into our brown sugar, cream, and butter until we get it all smooth. Now we're going to add two cups of mush, or geez, I can't get that right. Two cups of marshmallows. They don't seem to be melting as fast as I thought they would. I'll turn the heat back on. A little. I got out three cups of marshmallows because it called for three cups of powdered sugar. So we're going to see how that works. And we hope that works. Hope that's enough marshmallows. Seems kind of loose, but the other one seemed okay, and it was too too dry. A lot of recipes call for marshmallows or marshmallow fluff in or marshmallow cream, not fluff actually, because the fluff doesn't work. I don't even know what marshmallow fluff is. And I know you can't use marshmallows instead of the marshmallow cream like they asked for. I'm just not sure. I'm going to add one more cup of marshmallows for a total of four cups. I 
think. If that doesn't work, the marshmallows wouldn't have worked. So. Shut our heat off. Continue to stir, stir, stir. So we get all those marshmallows whipped up. No more white streaks. Okay. Let's pour this in. Oh, yeah. That didn't come in in a big glob. So this might be better. Now I will put it in the refrigerator because I'm going somewhere tonight to give treats to a friend and I would like these to be ready to go. No more freezer for me and fudge. Ugh, that looks good. Mm. Oh my gosh, I hope that marshmallow worked. That is the best tasting fudge. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we're going to put this in the fridge. I will bring you back in about an hour or so. And we'll see how well that's setting up. Thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> I won't promise you won't see me again today or tomorrow. Chances are. I'll take those two days off. I might be back on Tuesday or Wednesday, the 26th or 7th. I never know what's going to hit me as far as inspiration. But Christmas is Christmas, and I enjoy giving away treats and snacks to everybody. But I want them to be snacks that I love, not that I just like them. I want to love them. So, I'm hoping this peanut butter fudge is going to be one of those. We shall see in just about an hour. Just a couple seconds for you. I'm the one that has to do the waiting. <laughs> Luckily, you don't. <laughs> okay, hang in, everybody. This is Kat in Kat's Cooking Kitchen. Cooking for the holidays. Making goodies. And stop. I have a dog fight starting underneath my feet in case you can't hear them. And, uh... Merry Christmas to everybody. I will be back. <laughs> Yet today, we got to see how this fudge turns out, right? Okay. Thank you all for watching. Hey, welcome back. It's done, it's done. Let's see how it cuts. Um, it's out of the way. I haven't even cut into it yet. Oh, this is much better. Oh my goodness. Let's give this a taste, shall we? This, it's soft. Look at that. Oh, look at that. This is so good. So much better. This is going to be the recipe I use for peanut butter fudge from now on. There's no better fudge than this. Not in peanut butter. Mm. I changed the three cups of powdered sugar into four cups of mini marshmallows. It made all all the difference in the world and we're just getting ready to go over to some friend's house and i couldn't be more excited that this is done this is done 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 oh, perfect texture big peanut butter flavor try this one do not make that other peanut butter fudge in the previous video that's on with the chocolate. 
but I can't go back on and I don't know how to edit that. But I will put in the comments that the peanut or the chocolate fudge turned out great. Peanut butter fudge, not so much. But this one, I'll have them look out for the next video. This one is a definite keeper. I mean, winner, winner. Peanut butter fudge dinner. Well, something, something, maybe not dinner. <laughs> but surely a nice sweet snack. So there we go. I'm going to have one more piece. Mm. And then I'm going to have to start giving that stuff away. Because I'm afraid I'd eat too much. Okay. Thank you guys. It's Merry Christmas Eve. It is 6.30. And I am out of here to go see some friends. So go out. Have a really good and safe New Year's, or New Year's, Christmas Eve. Have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow, and I will be back on, hopefully, <laughs> before the New Year's. So, hang in there. Watch out for me. If you watch me on YouTube, and you like watching my videos, and I hope you do, um, hit the subscribe button, and then go up and click the little bell that'll pop up after you hit the subscribe button. And you will be alerted every time I do a video. So, Facebook and YouTube, Cat's Cooking Kitchen. Thank you all so much for watching. Merry Christmas.